Whistling Diesel is known for his dangerous stints, which most people would never even dream of attempting. And his adventure and thrilling videos have gained him over 5 million subscribers on his YouTube. He is beloved by millions and does his best in providing the best content for his viewers. As well as he also tries to help out his fans, like that one time when one of his fans, Braydon Baker messaged Cody on Instagram, explaining that he drove his tractor into his school, but the administration asked the police to impound that tractor just after his arrival. Hearing this, Cody, or better known as Whistlin' Diesel, requested his thousands of fans to call the town's police station or school to demand an explanation for impounding the tractor. After receiving thousands of phone calls, police called Braydon's parents to request them to stop Cody's fans from phone calling them. However, Cody stated that he wouldn't stop it until the police apologized for it. As such, he promised to pay $500 to everyone who would drive their tractors on the school premises after posting the school's location. Hundreds of his loyal followers headed his call in a protest against the school's action taken against Baker. Their actions were not futile, and the school created a space for tractors in their parking area, and also held an annual day where kids would ride tractors to class in groups. An anonymous source also reported that, those who were involved in the tractor impounding incident were fired. It was clear from just this incident that, he had thousands of loyal fan base, who also went after the Strat Man another fellow YouTuber, after some beef happened between Cody and the Strad Man. So it's clear from this that, he does get in trouble, or create trouble sometimes, and such is also the case with one of his new videos, posted a month ago on February 20th, 2023, where he posted a video titled, I bought a $400,000 Ferrari, just to destroy it, and as the title implies, he did just that which caused him to get an illegal battle threat with the company. Even though Ferrari is one of the most prestigious car brands in the world, it didn't stop him from treating his F8 Tributo like a rental car on a summer vacation. He power slide and drifted the car along the dirt, and even smashed through a gate with it, and then took the car to the top of a grassy hillside and did donuts in it. But this isn't the reason why he was actually getting threatened with getting sued. The suing actually has something to do with the modification that Cody did on the Ferrari. He equipped the Ferrari with an aggressive tune, as well as an aftermarket exhaust system to generate heaps of pops and bangs. And then went on to poke fun at Ferrari for suing its customers, who modified their cars, and not treating the car as Ferrari would like, despite them threatening to sue him. However, Ferrari hasn't officially filed a lawsuit against Cody yet, but many do believe that he might get into a legal battle in the future. But did you know, this isn't his first run-in with the lawsuit. On May 25, 2022, Cody posted a video titled, What Not To Do As A Police Officer, where he and his friends were riding jet skis, and apparently created a bit of a wake in a no-wake zone. When they realize where they are, they stop and immediately head to the shore. They are shouted at by an irritated man, who yelled and cursed at them for creating a wake. After that, it looked like it was all fine, but they are approached by a police boat, and the policeman gives them a ticket for the inappropriate splashing, and they get a court date. He uploaded another video titled, I May Be Going To Jail For A Year, back on June 15, 2022, where he explained everything. You can check the video for the detailed explanation, but basically, he said that they were facing misdemeanor charges, and may face up to a year in jail for the incident. He found the law dumb, so he was fighting back with lawyers of his own for potentially slowing down the court trial for years. So, there still hasn't been a definite conclusion as of yet. And, who would have forgotten the incident when Cody and to others, Moore and Norton was seen in handcuffs, as seen on their Insta and TikTok. As there were photos uploaded on Justin Norton and Cody's Insta, where they were seen handcuffed and were taken away by the police. But, a lot of viewers stated, these were staged, and it is just a publicity stunt. As Insider.com posted about the news on their website, but Insider stated that, they were unable to verify any charges that were brought forward. So, that's it for the video. What are your thoughts on Whistle Indie Soul? Do you like the content he produces? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video, and stay tuned for more.